I often hear computer users say they want to get a bigger hard drive and help their computer run faster. Uh, that's generally not the, uh, the best strategy for, to improve performance. Sure, if you do fill up a hard drive to the point where its remaining space is measured in megabytes, yeah, you can affect the performance of a computer. Remove uh, available swap space or temporary file space, and things tend to uh, clog up pretty fast. But in most cases, uh, it's not really the, the first go-to uh, performance uh, increased uh, strategy. So how do you explain that? How do you explain to, to people what uh, the relationship between that CPU, the RAM, and hard drive is? I use this analogy right here. So we have happy computer users. Got the brains, their brains of the outfit. We got the CPU and the computer. It's the brains of the outfit. Each of them have to have something to work on. Computer user keeps their stuff in a file cabinet. The CPU keeps their stuff in a hard drive. So where do they work? The user works on his desk. The CPU does its work in the memory. So each of them goes to their stored location, file cabinet here, hard drive here, and puts stuff to work on in the workspace. In the case of the user, to be a desk. In the case of a CPU, it'd be RAM. It'd be computer memory. So eventually you get to a point where the workload gets to be so much where I can only put so much on this workspace. i got to go back and get some more, swap around, put these back, bring those over. Okay, put those back, bring these over. And that constant back and forth tends to slow things down. Same thing can happen here. Put it back in here, bring it over here. Put it back in here, bring it over here. What's the strategy? Get a bigger desk or add memory. These are the, that's probably the, the first step to uh, helping somebody improve their performance is to uh, add memory to their computer. When a, a person is buying a computer and they ask advice, well, how much memory should I have? Every bit you can afford. That's the correct answer there. That takes us to here. This is a processor. That's the, uh, the board side, and that's the side that's, that's up. That's the exposed side. Very smooth, very flat. The intent being that the, the cooler sits on top of it and makes a very good connection so that heat transfers from the processor into the cooler uh, efficiently. In between there is a material known as thermal paste. It is intended to remove air pockets and make a very positive connection between the cooler and the processor. So that, that transfer of heat works efficiently. That looks right there like just about the right amount, just a thin film. This is too much. Somebody's gone bananas, uh, uh, to stick with a theme, gone bananas with the uh, thermal paste here. How much is right? Just about a little bitty pea-sized uh, drop, so to speak. So why do I mention that? Well, here's what you want to happen when you take a cooler off of a processor. You want the processor to stay in the slot, and you want the, processor, the cooler to come away cleanly. However, should you try to pull a cooler off of a cold processor, a lot of times this mastic or this thermal paste uh, hardens up, can act like a glue. And what do you wind up with? You wind up with this. You wind up with the cooler in your hand and an exposed processor stuck to the, the cooler base. Not a good uh, situation. These little pins right here, extremely fragile. If you bend a couple, you can get really, really lucky and the processor will still work. However, even slightly bending those pins can severely affect some functions in the processor. When these are designed, that flow of electricity is very, very tightly measured. So should this occur, should you have the need to take a cooler off of a processor, try to run the PC for a while, bring it up to speed, or at least bring it up to operating temperature. Uh, if you cannot, you may have to get a heat gun and actually heat it up. A hairdryer may not get it hot enough. 
because you have to be very, very careful getting this off of here now because you do not want to damage these chips. All right. Get that processor warm or have some strategy in mind to be able to get this chip off of here. I myself have actually had to use butane lighters before to heat that material up enough to get one of those popped off of there. All right. Thank you very much.